I've always felt is one of the greatest luxuries you could ever have as a Christian is to be a Christian musician because you get to work out your faith in a song. You learn to, the, the, the events of your life get interpreted in the way that you hear things and feel things in your heart and in your mouth as a singer or as a player in your hands. And uh, I think it's always going to be a restless quest. Uh, I have no need to relive the past. I have a desperate need to live in these times and to dream about my future for my wife, for me, for my son, and for the world that surrounds me. It's an incredible opportunity and honor for me to be able to go down the highway with somebody at 5.30 at night when they've just had the worst day of their life and they plug that CD in and I get a chance to talk with them and to be with them. That just feels like an enormous privilege to me. The musical direction is something that evolved in my living room <laughs> with a grand piano and the sunlight streaming in on fall and spring mornings and me thinking about the people I love, the people I should love more than I do, <laughs> the things I don't like about myself that I wish God would help me change, uh, the things that I just am so happy about. And it all lives at the song level, around a piano and a voice. I, I wanted this to be something different that they didn't need the cacophony of a rock band for as much as I love that. <laughs> I wanted the simplicity of, of a song and a singer and, and the moment. I just want to be Awakening is a word that just kind of floated into my consciousness as I was working on this. And I think it's because I am just awestruck at the beauty around me. Uh, the morning, getting up and hearing my son's voice calling me and, and my wife. I am you know, I want to be a crazy old man on a park bench, 75 years old, holding the hand of my wife. You know, I just, I want that so much. I think life should be beautiful and romantic and inspired. He said, I have come to give you abundant life, not some cheap facsimile of what some TV show told you life's supposed to be. Abundant life. I want this music to speak to people to realize that their own lives do matter. Every little corner of their lives matters. So hopefully, I help people ask themselves even some hard questions. I've always, I've always believed that, that music should be more than just fun. I want it to be fun. It should be entertaining. I hope that this music allows people to, to be comfortable with, certainly, to have a good time with, but that they can feel themselves entering this music. I, and at that point, I could care less whether they are hearing me. I'd rather have them hear their heart than hear me. So let joy come spilling down Like the gold of the dawn I want to soar like a leaf On the winds of belief uh, There's a song called I Believe. And, uh, you know, I wrestled a long time whether I should ever do a solo record. Uh, and I was just wrestling with where am I going as the head of my family, as a husband, as a musician, or as, as just a person trying to live meaningfully on this planet. Where am I going? And I, I don't know. I, and I'm just going to have to surrender this. And I just, but I believe with all my heart that you have me in your hands. It says, it says in this word that our names are written on the palm of his hand. It's, what an intimate picture. And I think that that's what God has asked us to do, is to lose our lives, to, so that he can give us something far better than we ever dreamed. This is my testament for this time. 
I'm 